eyes in here. what's up y'all and welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm gonna kind of be putting myself on blast as i talk about not letting the world or other people harden you and a realization that i had was that i was allowing people who i said had no impact on my life I was allowing them to affect the way that I handled other people, which really meant that despite me saying that these people did not have an impact on my life, I was allowing them to have too much of an impact on my life if I was handling other people in a way that was an after effect of them. And my giving, my giving love language is giving gifts so gift giving as well as acts of service and so once i had a bad experience in a relationship where it was very much um one side give and one side take and that's it i was like my natural response was i'm never gonna do that again you ruined it because i'm done being that type of person when in reality like obviously i just want didn't want to be taken advantage of again but i had to realize like i am watering down the most authentic version of myself and anyone else that i come into contact with whether it's platonic or a love interest is not going to get the real version of me and that is not fair to them because i would not want someone let's say if it is the love interest i don't want someone to come to me and I'm not getting the realest version of them like you're watering down how you naturally are because of your experiences with people like if Sally Sue did you wrong and all of a sudden you're moving funny with me I, that's not fair to me because I don't have nothing to do with what you and Sally Sue had and it took a, a long time for me to accept that I okay I'm gonna have to make some changes and sadly there's a lot of talk and quotes about people who were saying they were once a really good loving person but because of their experiences with people you know that turned them cold there's an icebox where my heart used to be and now they don't do half the things that they they used to do because of those people and I will be completely honest like I once resonated with that like I would be the person where it would say like by I'm double tapping everything um, that had to do with basically like you know f you and I'm never going to be that type of person again because now life has taught me that I need to move a certain type of way. But there comes a point in your life where you have to grow and mature and ask yourself, why am I allowing these people to have the people that I swear I don't give a crap about? Why am I allowing them to have so much power and authority over me that I treat the next round of people who have nothing to do with our experience in a way that is consequential to what happened to them. And it creates a pattern of hurt people hurting people. 
Like you have stripped down the most authentic version of you because of these people. Like you're giving them that much power over your life without you even really realizing it. You think, well, obviously it's to keep you safe, but you think that you're doing everyone else a favor and doing yourself a favor. But in reality, you're operating in a way that is not aligning with how you naturally are. I'm naturally, you know, a gift giver. I am naturally a very loving person. And it took me a very long time to be comfortable and okay with how I love and to be proud of how I love and to not regret you know the way in which I've loved people even though it didn't quite work out if those people can't see the value in you that's okay okay that is okay that has absolutely nothing to do with you and you have to separate your self-worth and how you see yourself from how those people treated you they've probably got their own things going or maybe you weren't compatible that's okay everything in life is a learning lesson and you have to forgive them and I think we a lot of us have heard like forgiveness is not for that person. It's not you saying what you've done to me is OK. Forgiveness is for you, because when you're holding a grudge and you're not letting things go, then you're literally placing your healing in their hands, waiting for closure, waiting for an apology or this person to take accountability. And they may never do that. And if you're sitting around waiting on someone to uh, allow you to heal, give you what you need so you can heal, you might be waiting for a very, very long time. If I would have waited, I would have still been in that place where I'm just angry and I'm resentful and I, I'm holding back when I when it comes to meeting other people. I'm holding back for from who I'm who I naturally am. And so forgiveness is for your peace of mind. Forgiveness is for you to be able to release yourself from whatever happened, whatever those experiences were, and to continue living life authentically as you naturally are. And that is to me the most, that's the biggest thing that you can do is to take the high road, to have no get back, right? I know that that's the hardest thing to do because there's no fulfillment in it. We want these people to hurt like we've hurt. We want these people to lose what we've lost. We want these people to feel what we felt. And when these people shatter that pure version of you, it takes time for you to piece that those shards back together. It takes time, it takes patience, and healing is not linear. I'm sure many of you know, like, you think you're over something and then something triggers you a year or two down the line and you're like, dang, I thought I've healed from that. I thought I was over it, but in reality, you weren't. And that just lets you know that you have more work to do and you have more healing to do and you have, you have to forgive yourself for allowing certain things. Like, I've stayed with this person so long. Okay, that's okay. I forgive myself. When you're forgiving others, you have to forgive yourself as well. Sorry, I'm losing sunlight. But as you're forgiving others, don't forget to forgive yourself for the things that you've allowed. You're like, okay, I forgive myself for staying with this person for so long. It is okay. I'm working on my self-love and my self-worth. I've learned so much. I forgive myself for allowing these things to happen to me. Things that I knew I could see and I just allowed them. I forgive myself for that. And I will be honest, when I used to say like, I wish this person will, I wasn't really wishing that person will. Like I would say it because it felt like the right thing to do. Like you need to say, you know, I forgive this person because it's part of your healing journey. Uh, but I knew internally I did not mean that. Because it felt like if I said I forgive this person, then somehow this person's life was going to get and me saying that I wish them well, this person's life was going to get better. Like, despite all these things that you did to me, uh, you think I'm going to wish you well so that your life can get better and possibly better than mine. And I'm like, where's the consequence in that? This person has no no consequences to what they've done. And those were conversations that I had with God. And I had to realize like God has not forgotten me. I am not forgotten. And in due time, I truly believe that 
God will align me with people who actually see the value in how I naturally love, how I naturally am. And I don't have to water down those versions of me to stay safe because I'm going to come into contact with people where I can authentically be myself um, and be safe and, and feel valued. And you know what? If the next person, because life is going to life, life is not perfect. Um, you know, life is not all glitters, rainbows and sunshine. If we are deciding that I'm going to take back my power and authority and be who I naturally am, we may come into contact with some people who don't see the value in us again like again we're in the same situation that we found ourselves in before please do not use that as an excuse to harden back up stay soft check your heart posture don't let these people change your heart posture life is life except that it's hard and we shouldn't have to accept that people do crappy things but it's for you once again. It's for you. Forgive yourself. Take the learning lessons and keep going. And that's what I've decided. You know, even if I meet a next round, of, like these next three, four people, even if I meet these people and they don't see the value in me. And this has happened where I've just jumped from person to person, not relationship wise, but it could be friends or whatever. Um, I had like back to back disappointments and I'm like why are you doing this like this is in my mind I'm like this is exactly why I don't talk to people I don't let people in I don't let them see the real me because I'm going to continue to get the same exact experience and that it, that validated why I should harden up and let these people change my heart posture um, and that took a lot of prayer and a lot of time. It's been literally four or five years, over five years, actually, that I, I've finally gotten to a place where I'm like, OK, you know what? I'm going to go into the world open. I'm going to remain blameless. I'm going to be who I am and strive to be a good person with pure intentions. I'm not perfect. I'm a human. Um, I have human qualities. I'm not saying that I am perfect. And not saying that I was perfect in the situations that I was in. But if I willingly show up as who and how I am, because once again, I'm not ashamed of how I've loved. I don't care that these it, it brought these certain experiences into my life. I am who I am and I'm going to find my people or I'm just going to take that that power and authority over me. Like despite what you've done to me, I'm going to continue to give to the next person. I'm going to continue to do random acts of service for the next person because you don't get to dictate how I show up in the world. Right. Even if I come across people who have ill intentions, I'm not going to harden up. I'm not going to allow you to change how I go into the world. And that's hard. Once again, that is a hard thing to do. It's very scary. I feel very open, very naked. Um, but I know that that's something that I need to do because I don't want to be on my deathbed and be like, I really let these people have such a hold on me that I didn't experience life in the way that I wanted to experience. And I'm also to a place and I pray that you get to a place where once again, we don't ha we don't get get back. We don't have to be loud and tell our side of the story because we know ourselves. I genuinely wish you well for my peace so that I can move on and continue to be the person that I want to be and the best get back. I promise you it's not a few quotes. It's not keeping up with the same people you're trying to heal from. It's about genuinely working on your happiness moving on being the bigger person moving in silence and genuinely working on your happiness and this is going to naturally irritate people's spirits if they are if they haven't taken that journey themselves it's going to naturally irritate them your silence is going to piss them off because they want to see that you're hurting they want to see that they've got to gotten to you and i feel that silence is the loudest response depending on the situation and I'm going to continue to move and create the life that I want to experience while being genuinely happy and being genuinely myself. That is the best get back, um, in my opinion. Now, I do say all this and realize like, yes, you have to be smarter in how you move. Discernment 
is necessary discernment is always necessary but sometimes you know our judgment can get a little clouded depending on the person that we're dealing with and that is okay once again but using myself as an example sorry sun's coming back out using myself once again put myself on blast using myself as an example we've already you know discussed that i'm a giver i love giving and doing things for people that i love and care about but i will no longer allow anyone to use my car ever if you don't have a car sorry charlie you're gonna have to figure it out no one is ever gonna pick me up in my car from work ever again ever ever sis i can still be true to who i am and also set those boundaries right so that doesn't mean just go out here willy-nilly and take what people give you and say okay well that's just how i naturally am and you know letting people like slowly chip away at you you need to set boundaries have proper judgment um and, and figure out a healthy way in which you can still be who you are but also not let people take advantage of your kindness if you are a person like me and i feel like that is the most empowering thing and i am super proud of myself if you are going along on this journey too i am super proud of you because that get back is something that you naturally want to do but you don't do it and you're focusing on yourself and that is empowering that is empowering to say like despite what has happened despite how you treated me I wish you well genuinely and I'm going to continue to be the person that I am so I'm really hoping that this helps someone um, if you have experienced this in which a person has changed your heart posture and you're trying to get back in alignment with who you are definitely leave down below like your struggles your tips any advice for our comment scrollers and I will catch you guys in the next one